Hey, cool. Peace. Kian here. Thanks for being here and joining me in my home studio, the Tone Shack. So today we're going to be looking at my <clears throat> beautiful 2008 uh, Gibson Hummingbird. Uh, she's a beauty. Um, I bought her from New, and we'll have a look at her and listen to some sounds. I'll listen to a song. So welcome to my channel. Um, if you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Um, on my channel, on this channel, we talk about everything guitars. We talk about n new songs, my new music, and we talk about everything home studio. So running a home studio, recording, uh, releasing music from my home studio. So fantastic. So um, please, if you like what you see, uh, subscribe uh, down below here. Uh, and make sure you hit that notifications bell because then you'll get to be the first to know when there's new videos for you to watch. So that's cool. So thanks for being here. I hope you enjoy and let's get to a hummingbird. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is a 2008 uh, hummingbird. Um, in Heritage Cherry Sunburst, I believe. Uh, it's not the usual red uh, 1960s sunburst. Uh, it was a different color. It's beautiful. We'll have a quick look at it in a minute. Um, I bought it new uh, in 2008, and I've used it extensively here in the Tone Shack uh, on virtually every song. If there's an acoustic song on it, it's this guitar. Uh, I do have other acoustics um, guitars, um, which I will do some reviews on, um, but this is about this beauty. And this is basically on every song that I've ever done. <laughs> uh, so that's how much I love it. Um, it's, you know, your standard Gibson square shouldered uh, Dreadnought. Uh, she's beautiful. So let's get close up and personal with this beautiful 2008. Gibson Hummingbird. Okay, so, so here she is. Um, she's a Heritage Sunburst, um, usual uh, dreadnought size with the square shoulders. Uh, Spick the spruce top with mahogany back and sides. Uh, you can see the beautiful rosewood fretboard with the pearloid um, inlays there and the crown headstock. The main feature of a hummingbird, I suppose, is the beautiful scratch plate with the hummingbird on there, uh, which is great. So this guitar was in 2008 uh, from Montana, USA. Really beautiful. Okay, so the back is pretty clean. Um, the neck we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, is not so clean, uh, but you'd expect that from a guitar that's been heavily used for 12 years. Um, headstock there, the Grovers um, were original, not been replaced or anything. There's the, the Crown Gibson beautiful headstock again. Um, yeah, the Grovers came with it, never replaced those. I do like Grovers anyway, so that was fantastic. Um, and then 2008, there's a ding there on the mustache. That was, I think I knocked it over in the studio. Uh, cried for a couple of days, but everything was fine. <laughs> All right, the neck, um, it's been played heavily for 12 years, solid. So the neck, a lot of the lacquer was worn off the neck and made it a very satin feel but beautiful and a great player so there you go there's the hummingbird okay so a lot of people say about a square shouldered uh, dreadnought that it's just a pick guitar so you just you know you pick in and it's a strummer but I don't buy that. Uh, this guitar is beautiful when you strum it. It's fantastic, gives you a great projection, um, works really well with a condenser mic, which I've just got here. Um, works really well um, at projecting the sound and, and sounding great. But I also think that it's a really good um, finger picking guitar. And I use it a lot for finger picking. <laughs> So 
So I, I think it's an incredibly versatile guitar. Um, it sounds beautiful. Let's have a closer listen to how it sounds. I'm going to change the microphone around, get it a little bit better set up for an acoustic. I'll do a little bit of playing and then I'll bring you into a song that I've used this um, beautiful hummingbird on. And we'll go from there. Okay, cool. So I've moved and set up the microphone so it's more like recording in my in a home studio, um, recording an acoustic guitar instead of just doing a video uh, and capturing all the sound. So we're about 10, 12 centimeters away from the guitar. Um, it's a condenser, a large condenser mic. It's a Lewitt 440 Pure, uh, absolutely fantastic microphone. I'm putting it towards the neck joint, 12, 14th fret uh, of the guitar. Um, at this minute in time, it's got nothing on it. It's just completely and utterly the microphone and the guitar. with the pit. That's beautiful. The song today is coming from the new album, uh, which is called Comfortable Skin, uh, which will be out very very soon. Um, this song is very dear to me. It's the first um, release from this album. It's the first single from this album. Um, my little girl, who was a wee bitty baby at the time, uh, came up to me and said, uh, where's Grandad gone? Um, and then she asked me whether there was weather in heaven. Uh, so those two things just jumped in my head and I jumped up and I ran to this guitar, this beautiful Gibson Hummingbird, and I wrote this song uh, within about 20 minutes, or thereabouts. Um, and it's very dear to me. I uh, hope you enjoy it. This is a song called Weather in Heaven. Oh, 
Holding pictures of ones I'll never know Before my time it was yours to let go I was born in springtime when old was new I'll only ever get to know stories about you But I see you smile when the sun shines Wish you could fly now and hold your hand. We'd walk through the clouds and try to understand. But I see you smile when the sun. Such a pity that you couldn't stay. So what's the weather like? The weather like in heaven today? And the seasons change. Peace. Okay, cool. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was Weather in Heaven, and it was from my latest album. Uh, the album's called Comfortable Skin. 
Uh, you can hear it on my webpage, uh, on my website, you can hear it on my Bandcamp, you can buy it from there, or you can go onto Spotify, follow me on Spotify, and you can hear the songs there. There'll be a link down below to say, go and listen to Kian on Spotify. Fantastic. So, Gibson Hummingbird acoustic guitar. Do you love it? Do you like them? Um, is it for you? Is it too big? Uh, are you a Martin player? Are you a Taylor player? Do you like Guilds more? Or do you Yamaha? There's loads and loads of guitars. Loads and loads of fantastic uh, acoustic guitars out there. Please let me know what, you're, what you like and what you think. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell so that you're the first person to know when there's a new video out for you. So, it's the hummingbird, which is mine, and I feel fine playing it. It's my favourite acoustic guitar. Um, would I change it? Nope. Uh, I've got other acoustics that I use, but I love this guitar. So please let me know what you think. I'll see you again for another video to talk about all things guitar, new songs, and home studios. Have a great week. See you soon. Peace.